Hello, in this video, we are going to talk about the Digital Experience Web Content Manager support tool. Having this portlet on the Web Content Manager system helps expedite the troubleshooting process for system administrators and the support team. The HCL Web Content Manager items are stored in a Java content repository against a complex schema of interrelated tables. Each item is represented as a node, which is modeled through a graph of information stored across multiple tables. For this reason, deleting a node is not as simple as removing one row from a table in the database. The interrelated connections among all the tables must be handled. In many cases, the level of logic required is not encoded in any singular SQL command that can be sent to the database. The HCL Web Content Manager and Java Content Repository Support Team has developed a tool called HCL Web Content Manager Support Tool. This portlet enables administrators to browse through those notes and perform various operations directly on the Java Content Repository through the tool's user interface. The Web Content Manager Support Tool portlet is accessible from the Standard Digital Experience Administration panel and the Web Content Area in the HCL 9.5 CS172 Practitioner Studio menu. This portlet is also available to the Digital Experience version 8.5 and 9.0 users with Cumulative FixPad 18 install. When you open the portlet in the Digital Experience Administration panel, you see the links to various support tools in the body that are designed to enhance developer activities and simplify common tasks. In the footer, you will find the timestamps, the version of Web Content Manager for which the portlet is installed, and the built version of the portlet. After selecting Browse Notes, you must select a workspace the default is root workspace where the web content manager libraries are stored. Within the JCR specification, the concept of a workspace is defined to be a container for a collection of notes. Browse notes shows the internal structure of the web content manager. Administrator can search the notes by the UUID. Browse operations are accessed in the portlets by selecting links located on the right-hand side of a portlet. Web Content Manager library items are stored under Content Root by default. The file store has information about theme, skin, CSS, etc. If a note is locked, one should be able to unlock it when the unlocked access code is entered. For the note information, count children displays the total number of children that particular note has. Get IID display the item ID of the item. Get references provide a list of all the references to the item. This list could be potentially long if recursive is checked. This section has additional buttons when access code are enabled for note actions. You can search for a note using the UUID normally obtained in locks or the IID. The Web Content Manager's JCR uses XPath to search the note hierarchy. XPath is translated to SQL for the specific underlying digital experience database installed to the platform. The command run XPath query returns the result from JCR by using the XPath without Web Content Manager manipulation, which can help to isolate the problem. This option helps you generate a Web Content Manager seed list URL to be used within a content source. You can select a type of sites for your environment from the four buttons options, standalone, clustered, virtual portal, or virtual portal with unique URL. For list types, Web Content Manager has defined several JCR notes type to represent its data structure. Each note type defines the properties and child notes required for the Web Content Manager data object it represents. When these links are selected, the child types and properties of a note are displayed. This workspace will show the workspace is an interface to Web Content Manager that is associated with a user in which items are created, saved, deleted, and searched for. Launch Utility JSP has several useful tools in the current portlets. 
Display type is similar to the list typed from previous page. The REST console is where you could use the XCL Web Content Manager REST service to create a read, update, and delete content items. And the last item, enable write access. There may be occasions when working with HCL software support in which you may be provided with a specific access code in order to unlock update features within the Web Content Manager support tools portlets. These access codes are temporary and should be used only to repair a specific problem directed by the support team. Any other updates to the JCL database should be done through either the XCL portal administration or the Web Content Manager authoring. XCL software support will provide more information on this specific task. For more information, please take note of this URL, which is in the XCL Digital Experience Wiki. This concludes a quick introduction to the Web Content Manager support tool. Thank you.